Environmental activists take a unique approach to pressing for clean energy. Political reporter Pat Warren explains they want to get the attention of state lawmakers. These Chesapeake Climate Network activists issue a waist-deep warning that we're up to our necks in hot water. It is not unreasonable, scientists tell us, that we could see five feet of sea level rise in Maryland over the, by the year 2100. So what's that mean to us in 2014? The 2012 deluge from Superstorm Sandy led the state to conduct a study of rising sea levels, and the results were added up. These maps show the projected risks in Baltimore, where areas in red have the most to lose, up to $100 million in damage. In Ocean City, the red zone stretches north to Delaware. Yellow zones represent hundreds of thousands of dollars in property damage. Baltimore City, if we get five feet of sea level rise, $1.3 billion in impacts, one medical facility gone, a school, a college, three museums, a church, 18 miles of roads. This group believes doubling the state's commitment to clean energy from 20% to 40% of energy used is the answer. Is 40% possible? Absolutely. Absolutely. We know that wind and solar is growing at rapid paces. They have outpaced almost every other energy source. Cleaner energy, cooler planet, calmer seas. In 2013, the General Assembly passed the Maryland Offshore Wind Energy Act. This coalition is asking lawmakers to build on that. Governor O'Malley this year vetoed a bill that would have delayed a wind project on the Lower Eastern Shore. At the Jones Falls, I'm Pat Warren. Now back to you on TV Hill. And the state is moving forward on a wind farm off the coast of Ocean City. And local leaders and activists were in the water today at Canton's Waterfront Park in Baltimore, calling on state lawmakers to double Maryland's commitment to clean electricity in 2015. They're creating a bill to transition off fossil fuels and use clean energy of wind and solar power. They say the burning of dirty energy is already driving the sea level. Scientists say Maryland could see two feet of sea level rise by 2050 and five feet by 2100, severely impacting the living jobs and health of everyone. Five feet of sea level rise for Baltimore County, that's nearly a billion dollars in damage. One medical facility is flooded and ruined. Two churches are gone. 34 miles of roads are destroyed in Baltimore County. Three freight train terminals are destroyed. One entire power plant is destroyed. Three hazardous waste dumps are, dest are destroyed and 4,000 acres disappear. That's just um, Baltimore County. The 40% clean electricity bill will be introduced in January.